back to our series on ADOS and ADOS calibrations. So far we've gone over the requirements. We've also talked about the ADOS system, the ADOS link and the DOS 3000 and all of the capabilities it has. Today we're actually going to do a calibration on a ICC sensor or the front distance sensor on a 2020 Nissan Pathfinder. This Nissan Pathfinder had a very small minor front bumper damage. However, the sensor was removed. Any time that that sensor is removed, we're going to have to verify that it's actually calibrated correctly. And we're going to go through those steps right now and show you how easy and how quick it is to do this with the ADOS Link and the ADOS 3000. So we're going to go through the calibration on this 2020 Nissan Pathfinder and show you how easy it is to actually calibrate this front distance sensor, also referred to as the ICC sensor from Nissan. Now remember your requirements. We have to verify that the steering wheel is straight, all our tires are at the proper inflated levels. We have a full fuel tank. All my levels are topped off. There is no unnecessary weight inside the vehicle. And the alignment has been performed to verify that everything is in working order before we begin our calibration. So let's go ahead and walk through the steps on doing this calibration. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and turn on my ADOS link. And next thing we're going to do is take our VCI out of the docking station and plug it into the DLC. So we've got our VCI hooked up to the DLC, our key is on, and we're ready to actually begin communicating with our ADOS link system. You can see it picked up and connected the VCI, so you can see that it is connected and communicating with that. I'm going to select diagnostics to begin the calibration. Right now we're going to be able to choose a manual selection, a recent vehicle, or an auto ID. Auto ID is automatically going to read the VIN for us, and there it is. So we're going to select our Nissan Pathfinder going to ask us to cycle the ignition. We cycled the ignition and now we have a host of different options we can choose from at this point. And right now, of course, right here at the bottom start is go to ADOS calibration. And that again is what we're going to be doing today. So we're going to select that. You see a host of different options available at this point. Front facing camera, front facing radar, surround view, and so on. And again, the one that we're going to deal with today is the front facing radar. That was the one that I had said been taken off and put back on. And we want to verify that everything is working correctly and that it's calibrated. So we're going to select that. At this point, we have our milliwave radar adjustment. That's the one we're going to select that. At this point, you can create your special report by putting in the repair order number, the odometer or the technician ID as well. So now we come into the milliwave radar adjust. This system, again, is absolutely wonderful. You're going to see how quick it can really do this calibration and how easily it is to do because it really walks you through everything. It's RTFS, read the friendly screen. But right now it's going to tell us, hey, we need a target board. We have a target board hanger set, bumper plate, and all of that. And that's already all in my DOS 3000. So I have all of this ready to go to do this. Again, it's going to tell you this function is used to calibrate the ICC front radar sensor. And it's going to tell you what you need to do. Position the DOS 3000 unit in front of the vehicle, which we have already done. Place scan tool on the platform. And this is where I like to keep this most of the time while I'm doing these. The options now are selecting continue, provide step-by-step -step instructions, or skip if you've already done it. But we've never done this, you haven't done this, and you probably want to see it all the way walk through. So we're going to press continue so we can go step-by-step -step to see how this is done. Now remember, it says, caution, vertical alignment of the radar must be within OEM specifications before performing this calibration. Additional sensor alignment tools may be required. Now I do know when they reinstalled this sensor, they did not find any structural damage. They did not typically move anything. They checked it with the laser uh, level. Everything seems okay. We're going to find out how close it really is. Remember, perform the calibration when the sensor is reinstalled. After removal, a new sensor is installed on a vehicle. The sensor or nearby parts are impacted in a collision. And again, this had some front bumper damage. Not a lot, but enough where they had to take it off. So we're going to make sure that everything's good or if you had a DTC or alignment or suspension work has been performed. Again, these are all the reasons that you would have to do a calibration on that front radar. Continuing walking through, it says here's your preconditions. Vehicle must be on a level surface, which we have done. The vehicle must be aligned, correct tire size, 
and verify that the tires are set to the correct specifications. Make sure there's no damage to the front of the vehicle. Make sure the radar sensor is not dirty or has anything blocking it. And again, remove all excess weight from the vehicle. We've checked all of that and verified that all of this stuff is okay for us to continue. Next thing is a guided tour summary of what we're going to be doing. It's telling you the six different things that we're going to be doing. The first thing it's gonna have us do now is attach the wheel clamps and the alignment markers to the rear wheels. We have our clamps down here that we're going to use. And in our target board, we're gonna grab the correct target for our wheel clamp. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and take a walk to the back tires and install this on there because the cameras need to see this and you'll see that here in just a little bit, what the cameras pick up with these targets on the back wheels. So we've got our rear wheel clamp set up with our target boards on there. Next thing we're gonna do is press continue. Next, it's gonna ask us to connect the camera to the laptop. And that's this right here. We're gonna plug that in. We're gonna select okay, looking for the cameras. So now it says cameras are connected. And it's gonna come up with a specification of 1200 millimeters. This is what the specification is required for the distance from the front to the back of this unit. We're gonna keep that where it is and say done. And we're gonna allow that to continue. So now you can see the cameras are looking at the rear targets. You can see that it's reading them correctly. So the cameras, again, were mounted on the front over here. And the first thing it's gonna have us do is position the DOS 3000 at the bumper. The contact plate must touch the bumper. We have that mounted on the front of our DOS system right now. So we're gonna go ahead and move it. It's telling us to move this whole unit up to the front of the bumper. That's what we're gonna do now. So I've contacted the front bumper gently, of course, kind of centered it with that Nissan emblem to kind of keep that center line the best I could. And now we're going to press continue. So now it's going to ask us to move it again to the final position indicated on the screen. The cameras are still picking it up. Make sure again, nothing's blocking those when you do that. We're going to pull back the entire unit so we get it to line up right on the target. Very sensitive. Go slow. Take your time. Once I get this check mark, I'm going to lock this into place using the brakes. And we're gonna move on to the next part of our calibration. All right, moving on to the actual calibration, we have some radar targeting position options. Basically, we're gonna set up the front of the board on the actual rack itself, depending on where the condition, or the, where the location, I'm sorry, of the actual sensor is. This one, if we're looking at the front of the vehicle, it's to the left, but that's the right. And it's gonna ask you, you choose either left, center, or right of the vehicle. You have the options on here. It's asking kind of where the sensor is, and it gives you some guidance on that. Is it more than 300 meters to the left of center? You're gonna choose that. And we know that that center, or that distance center is over to the left if I'm looking at the front right now and it's the same if it's more than 300 millimeters we're going to verify that so we know that we're choosing the right one and that is well beyond 300 millimeters from the center line so we know we're going to choose the right position one based on the picture and it's kind of showing you where we're going to set it up on the rack so we're gonna be choosing the right one. Select right. Now it's gonna start telling you to install your target board. So attach the target board with your hanger. R in the right position. We're gonna lock that down, tighten it into place. Our board is set up and ready to go at this point. We're gonna see what our ADOS link tells us to do next. We're gonna press continue. Centering the board. Center the board by sliding horizontally to the left or right on the lower crossbar. Ensure the distance between center of the DOS matches the distance between vehicle center line to center of radar sensor. And we have that all set up already. We were able to center that using the arrows on the board. 
and we verified that. So we're going to press continue, and now it's going to place the tilting lever E in the center position, which is number two, and they are numbered over here. We have it in number two, and now it's going to tell us to adjust the pitch screw until the frame itself of this entire unit is level. There is a bubble level up here. We're going to verify that it's level right now and make the adjustment by turning this knob as needed. And we're level. So everything's all set now and ready to go. We're going to press continue again. It's going to start walking us through this. Before calibration, remove scan tool from platform, disconnect your USB, which was your cameras, and step away from the calibration area in front of the vehicle. So again, we got to make sure nobody's walking in front now when we begin to do this. So I'm going to press continue, and we're going to go ahead and start the calibration. Sure that nobody enters the area. Do not turn off the scan tool or the ignition switch. Do not move or shake the vehicle and close all of the doors. We have verified all of those things are good. Press continue to begin calibration. So now it's going to have us place the tilting lever in the forward position, which is number one. So we're going to slide that board forward, lock it into place, and press continue. Next, move it to the center position, or number two. And now move it back to the rear position, or number three. Calibration in progress. And now at this point, everything looked great. We have a successful calibration. So you can see we just completed that front radar calibration really quick and easy. Self-guided steps, no trouble at all. We were able to get that done. And now what we're going to do is we're also going to check for any DTCs. We're going to do our post scan to verify that everything is good to go. No DTCs remain in any of the systems. Generate that pre and post scan report for the customer that they'll have that with their paperwork upon completion. As always, we do want to go ahead and test drive this. We're going to take it out and make sure that the system is operating as designed. Join us for next time when we're going to be doing a camera calibration on a Nissan as well. We'll walk through those steps and you'll get to see that performed as well. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.